Hey guys, what's going on? GMs here, back with GetOnStream.com. And in today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to add text to speech to your Twitch channel by using channel points instead of obviously people subscribing or donating. Text to speech is a really good way to allow your audience to engage with your stream and obviously it just makes it a little bit more interesting. However, if you're a small streamer, chances are you know you don't have tens of people every single stream going ahead and donating to you. Hopefully you will in the future. But right now you maybe don't and you want to use channel points instead. Channel points is also a good alternative to donations because it does help you out, both helps your channel grow and also helps you make more money. Because if people like the text to speech option on your channel, they'll then stick around longer on your stream to earn channel points, which then they can spend on text to speech and hopefully make some funny moments on your stream. So let's go ahead and show you how we can set this up very easily in your Streamlabs. So the first thing you want to do is come in here to your streaming tools and create a dashboard within your Twitch account. And if you haven't already enabled channel points, we need to do that first to enable a reward. So what you want to do is come in here again to your creator dashboard, come all the way down here to viewer rewards and then click channel points. You can see here, I've already have them enabled on my channel. If you haven't, just go ahead and tick this. And then you can come down here to customize points display so you can change the name of it and stuff like that. We don't need to do that for this. And then you can come here to manage rewards and challenges. So if you click in here, you'll want to add a new reward. You can see here, I've already added my TTS one. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this for now. So I'm gonna delete this. So what you need to do is create a custom reward in this custom rewards section. So there's gonna be quite a few options here when you're doing this, but don't worry, it's very simple. So you wanna give your reward a name. I'm gonna call mine just TTS. Most people are going to know what that means. In the description, I'm gonna say, in the description, I'm gonna go ahead and put redeem your channel points for text to speech. Very easy very self-explanatory for your viewers. Require viewer to enter text, you want to select this because obviously we need text that the text-to-speech bot is going to read out. The cost, that's up to you. That depends on you know how much channel points are people earning on your channel and all of that fun stuff. I would recommend doing it about 400 points or so. Here you can see tip of viewers earn 220 points per hour on average on your stream. So if you had it at 220 points per hour, for every hour of your watches, they can go ahead and redeem a message. So if you've got a very, very small stream and you want to get some engagement in there, making this lower could be a good way to do that. You can come in here and select different reward icons. We're not going to do that in this video, but you can go ahead and do that if you want to. And then we can scroll on down here. So down here, we don't need to worry about this skip reward request queue, but in cooldown and limits, we probably want to enable these. We don't want people to go ahead and just hammer us with text to speech stuff and kind of troll the stream. So you've got a couple of different options. You've got redemption cooldown time. So this is essentially how many times can you redeem this in a certain period of time? So we can say, let's say ours, one hour and the maximum amount of times in one hour that specific user can go ahead and redeem a text to speech message is one which means someone can't just keep going and you know sending these all of the time and then we've got limit redemptions per stream so max total redemptions for viewers so this is all of your viewers in total so you might want to set this you know it depends but it's probably not going to be an issue if you're a small streamer and you've also you know set this that each viewer can only set it one time an hour. You'd probably be safer maybe just disabling it or something like that. But you could go ahead and say, look, I don't want this any more than 100 times per stream. And then we've got limited redemptions per user per stream. So this is just how many times one single viewer can go ahead and redeem this. So again, I'd probably put that in there, something like three max. You don't want someone again, just hammering your stream unnecessarily. So I'm gonna set them as my settings. You feel free to play around with this, you know, to whatever suits you and whatever suits your stream best. You'll probably get a better feel for it after you've been streaming for a while. It's gonna be different for everyone, depending on how long you stream for, how many viewers you get per stream and all of that fun stuff. So let's just go ahead and click create on this. We've now got a custom reward in here. So the next thing we need to do is add a bot to our stream. The bot is over here. It's called Isaiah Creative's bot. It's currently free, but I think he is gonna release some premium uh, features in the future. 
you can go ahead i'll leave a link to this down below in the description and there is also a full written tutorial on how to set everything up down in the description as well if you're enjoying this video so far please give it a big thumbs up it helps out the channel massively so first thing you want to do when you come over to this bot is just log in with your twitch account i'm going to go ahead and log in I've already verified my account with the bot, so it just logs in instantly, but you might have to go ahead uh, and just verify that with Twitch and allow it to log in. You then wanna come over here to go to dashboard. There's actually quite a few different features in here. You can see here, when you logged in, a bot named Creatives Bot joined your channel. This bot is essential for multiple functions. So again, just like any other bot on your stream, it's gonna join your channel and be sitting there kind of lurking around. So we're gonna click next on this, and then here's getting started. So you can read through some of these, choose a reward, add a select a feature from the drop down, save your settings, and then add that uh, browser source URL to your OBS, and then mod the bot. So the first thing I'm actually gonna do is just mod the bot right now. So I'm just gonna open up Streamlabs and forward slash mod create as bot right here. We're gonna click chat on that, and then you can see it's already a bot, it's already a moderator in my channel, but you just wanna make sure that it is a moderator in yours. So we're gonna get rid of Streamlabs here for a second, and then we're gonna head back into the bot. So we can just click next on this, next here and then close if you want to donate go ahead and donate so once you come in here inside the dashboard of the bot you'll be able to see your tts that we created as a channel points redemption earlier in this video so all we want to do is click edit on this and then we want to add a feature to it so in this we can select text to speech and you've got all of these different voices you can choose from so you can click here here is the list of tts voices we can scroll down we have all of these different ones uh, so we've got russell here from australia wow, that is super pog champion IsaiahCreati.com. We've got English wow. Brian down here. Yep. Opens. Yep. This is me. I can't believe. So he's kind of like your standard bot. We're going to leave ours as Brian for this. Character limit 450. You can change that to how many, obviously, characters you want people to be able to say. And then down at the bottom, we have a banned words list. You definitely want to fill this in. I would recommend just searching Twitch banned words list on Google. You'll find a ton of lists there that you can just copy and paste. Paste them in here and we should be good to go. So now we've added that to that channel point redemption. There's one more thing that we need to do. So what you want to do is look at this here, show alert URL. So what we need to do is copy this and you can either do this in Streamlabs OBS or you can just do it in normal OBS. I'm going to be showing you inside Streamlabs for the purpose of this video. But again, it doesn't really matter. So what we want to come in here and do is click add source and we want to come down to browser source. Click add source, add source, give that the name. And we want to replace this streamlabs.com with the URL that we copied from the bot. So you don't really need to change anything else on this page. This is just going to disappear into the background. You're not going to see anything. It's just going to be an audio source, essentially. So now what we can do is click done right here. Once you've added that, it will also get added to your mixer over here as a browser source. So you'll now see whenever I activate this, it should come in here and play a sound. So now if we come down here into our channel, we should be able to redeem one of these. So obviously you could just do this on Twitch and your viewers will see the channel point redemption. We can come down here to this little channel points and select our TTS option right here. And now we can type a message. So we'll say subscribe to get on stream on YouTube. Submit that. And once we've done Subscribe that. Subscribe to get on stream on YouTube. There we go. So now our text to speech has went ahead and activated. I heard it. Hopefully you guys also heard it in this recording. I'm not 100% sure if you did, um, but you should hear that. And obviously you will hear that in your stream. And that is essentially it set up. I was maybe thinking, oh, what if I need to turn this off? What if I need to disable this? If someone puts in a message that really should not be read out on stream. Well, if you want to do that, it's simple to do. There's a couple of things you need to do. So I've went ahead and I've actually renamed our browser source to text to speech. Probably should have called it that initially. So make sure you guys do that. What you want to do is open up, double click on your browser source right here. And what you want to do is select this control audio via OBS. I've already selected it. Yours might be unselected. Just select that. And what that's going to do is allow the audio source to come through separately from your game audio and all of that. So you'll see now we've got this little bar over here for text to speech so if i put in a text to speech speech message let's just say hey how are you you'll see that this bar should pop off so let's go ahead and hit chat khpw are you so you can see that the text to speech bar starts going off so obviously if you were quick you could literally just come in here and pull this uh, source right down and it'll be muted but you probably want an easier way to do that with a hot key, maybe on your keyboard or on your stream deck or something like that. 
So it's very easy to do. All we need to do is come in here to our settings, come down to hotkeys. And if you scroll right down to the bottom, you'll see text to speech right here. So if we want to mute it while it's playing, I like to just set it, toggle it on and off. You can do whatever one you want. You can do here, push to talk, push to mute. So what I'm going to do is just select mute on this. So I'm going to use, let's just set F3 for this one. I'm just going to select F3 for mute. So I've went ahead, selected F3 for mute, F4 for unmute. So if we click done on this, we should now be able to click F3 to mute that. And you can see that this has muted over here, F4 to unmute. So it's now toggling mute on and off on our text to speech and you can turn that off whenever you want on your stream so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video that is text to speech with channel points if you did enjoy it please hit that subscribe button we do tons of stream tutorials every single week here on the channel if you want like a full written version of this and tons of other stream tutorials there is our website down below getonstream.com make sure and check that out and i'll see you guys in next week's video